Let's take a look at Menace Whackers. Here it is. We all have things that uh, bother us, that are menaces in our neighborhoods and lives. For me, it is people with leaf blowers. I wish they would use rakes. Leaf blowers are awful. So with this game, you try to knock your menaces into the trash. And let's see if I can get these guys in the trash. All right, good. Then the code is designed so that a second level could come up. One of my students added a second level. For him, it's garbage trucks in the morning that make a big noise, wake him up. So he added garbage trucks to the second level. Um, why don't we look at the code and how that works? And I think I'll reload and then just um, mute the volume so that you don't have to hear that. Hear my menace, my menaces. Um, this program is written in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and it uses the phaser library, um, the framework, I should say. So that's phaser.io. You can learn all about that. It makes it, um, makes it much easier to make a, a game, a 2D game. Oh, I'll credit uh, Michael Lynch for making the artwork here. Uh, he made the this menace, and uh, he hastily drew the trash can, and then I made this whacker, the menace whacker. Okay, so what do we want to know here? We are. We have two script files we're bringing in. One is phaser itself, and then the other is the game code. They're both in the JS directory. Here are the directories. And um, here's the game. And um, shall I make this a little wider? I think I will. Okay, so what do we have? We have a JavaScript object that the game is contained in. So there's only one um, object in the global namespace here for it. And then down at the bottom, we create a game using that object. These are the width and height of the screen. And we'll just walk through some of this code. Um, this is the part that's designed to make it easy to, uh, sort of easy, to add more levels. Um, because you don't, have to, you don't have to modify any code other than this line, really. There are uh, five, is it? One, two, three, four, five pieces of information here to define a level. And this L def is just a short form of level def, which is this function here that makes an object that has the information for a level. Um, so the first is the name of the, of the menace. So this, these are leaf blowers. And then the next is the sprite sheet where the graphics are stored. And this one's called blower sprite sheet. And if you look over here in the assets, the blower sprite sheet consists of Michael Lynch's artwork. And these are different frames of an animation. And then the 68 comma 96, those are the width and height of each frame of animation within that spreadsheet. This is a sound file that um, is a recording of a leaf blower. And then these are the uh, frames from the sprite sheet to use and in what order. Uh, so as you can probably see, to make a new level, you just make a title, put the art in this file. If you have a sound file, put it here. Say the dimensions of each frame and say which frames of animation you want to use. And then the rest is automatic. Uh, but let's look at some of the code. So what are some of these adjustable things up here? Uh, it starts out at level one with a score of zero. And you can adjust the mass of the whacker. If you lower the mass, these guys don't go as far when you hit them. That's thanks to the phaser's physics engine. 
max menaces. You'll always get 10 menaces. One of my students modified this because he only wanted three garbage trucks. And actually, his garbage trucks were really big, so more than three would have been difficult to fit. Uh, so he modified the code so that the in the level def, there's a number that's the um, maximum menaces for that particular level. And the angular velocity is for the whacker. And these things get filled in later. So what do we do in preload that we haven't already talked about? Um, we're loading the sprite sheet for each level and we're loading the audio file for each level. That's what this loop is doing. Then we load the image for the whacker and for the trash. That's preload. Now in create, what do we do? The background color is this. It's not quite black. It's a little brighter. We start the physics system, and the phaser framework has several physics systems you can choose from. This one's called P2. Um, restitution is the bounciness. Uh, you may have noticed these guys will bounce off the wall. And... This add group, we're creating a group called menaces, and then we're going to put the menaces in the group. Let's jump there now. Create menaces is here. So what does it do? Um, it adds the audio to make the sound, and it says loop over and over again, and then it makes it play. And then it, for each of the 10 menaces or whatever you have in here, it calls create menace and create menace is here and this creates a menace in the group at a random location enables physics for it so it can be knocked about by the whacker knocked into the trash can as it deserves to be and then we add an animation and then we play the animation Okay, we're working our way back here to where we got there from. We were here. Um, then we add the trash sprite. We enable physics for the trash. Make it static. That means it's not going to be knocked around. It's going to stay where it is. This code uh, looks for a contact between the trash can and something else. And um, what is the what are what else could it be? It could be the whacker, and it could be the menaces. So we say, if it's not the whacker, then we kill that sprite, and then we increase the score here, and then we um, fade down the sound of the menaces. So the as you kill, I don't say kill, throw knock each menace into the trash can. Um, then the sound diminishes until eventually they're all gone and then it's quieter. And if you get down to zero and there's another level, then we go to that next level and create a new batch of menaces. Okay, what's happening here? We're making the whacker, turning on physics, setting the mass of it. Then here we're creating cursors, which are the another name for the left, right, up and down keys. And then there's a, oh, there are two, two features. Um, there's a P key, which um, makes, the, makes the spinning go really fast. And then there's a G key, which adds more uh, menaces in case you want more. Okay, I'll show you where the code is. It is on github.com slash dcbrichetti. And it's in web games. And look for Menace Whackers. There's where it is. Okay, hope you enjoyed this.